Density is an important concept in chemistry, in physics, and in biology. So, what is density? If you have two objects of similar size, and one is made of wood, while the other is made of gold, you should expect that the gold should be heavier than the wood. So a very important word that is usually associated with density is heavy, whether something is heavier than the other, provided that they are of similar size. This is a very good demonstration of density. If you f put some water in a beaker, the density of water is 1.00 gram per milliliter. And that is a very good number to know. We will talk about the unit in a moment. If you drop cork and ice inside the water, they will float in the water because they are less dense than water. Their density is smaller than the density of water. And as you can see, they are literally floating. On the other hand, if you drop aluminum and lead in water, they will sink in water because they are more dense than water and as you can see they are right there at the bottom of the beaker so the question then is this how do you determine the density of a substance density is the ratio of the mass of a substance to the volume of the substance density is equal to mass divided by volume how do you determine the mass of a substance in the lab very simple you simply stick the substance on a weighing balance and the unit is usually grams in an undergraduate lab so how do you determine the volume depends on the type of substance you're dealing with so volume is the tricky one if you have a, a liquid the volume is very simple to determine just put the liquid into a graduated cylinder and read the volume in milliliter and that is why the unit of density is gram per milliliter usually for liquids but if you are dealing with a solid it will depend on whether the solid has a specific shape or whether it has no defined shape if the solid has a defined shape you can simply use the formula that is used to determine the volume of that shape. For example, the volume of a sphere can be calculated using 4 over 3 pi r cubic. The volume of a cylinder can easily be calculated by using pi r square h and so on depending on the shape of the solid however if the solid has no defined shape you would have to use water displacement technique
for example, if you want to determine my volume or your volume, volume simply means how much space a substance is occupying. So, to determine the volume of a human being, all you need is to fill a bathtub with water and carefully immerse the person under water. As you put the person in the water, some water will be displaced as the person takes up the space occupied by the water that is displaced. If you collect all the displaced water and you put those water in a graduated cylinder, you will determine the volume of that person. And that is also applicable to any shape that is not defined if you're dealing with the solid. Density is unique for different substances. And because of that, it can be used to identify the type of substance you're dealing with. Let us take a look at this question. If a ring was bought, let's say a wedding ring, and you are not sure whether the wedding ring is made of the right materials. So you bought the ring, and you place it on a weighing balance, you find out that the ring has a mass of 9.67 grams. And then you dropped the ring in water and it displaces 0 0.452 milliliter of water. What is the material made up of? Well, we know that density should be equal to the mass of a material divided by its volume. We know the mass is 9.67 grams. We know the volume is 0 0.452 milliliter. If you divide the mass by the volume, you should get a density of approximately 21.4 gram per milliliter, which indicates that the ring is platinum. This is another question I have been asked several times. Gram per centimeter cubic. Is it the same thing as gram per milliliter? Yes, they are the same because one centimeter cubic is equal to one milliliter.